<laughs> Back here on Jiggy Jag TV, also JiggyJagTV.com. I'm Jigman Freud, the master debater, the cunning linguist, the admiral of alliteration. Also check out RossLong.info, and uh, I've got King Shifter with me. And these guys are going to be on the Texas Hippie Coalition mini Kansas tour. How, how, yes, how the hell did this happen? <laughs> well. <laughs> did you plan tonight? Did uh, you plan tomorrow? Did you plan which time? Yeah. Oh well, we're uh, <laughs> we're actually uh, we're actually quite gonna... lucky. Um, we got a call from Tim Dixon. Hey, you guys want to do the show? And I said, Yeah, sure. Two days later, we get an email from Joe Roach, and I'm from Wichita, and uh, he basically says, uh, You guys want to play with Texas Hippie Coalition? I said, Yeah. We wanted to play with them the first time, you know. <laughs> so I guess that's cool. And then uh, the Kansas City show. It's, it, that turned out really good, actually. Um, we came up with an agreement with the uh, promoter there, Corey O'Meara. Nice guy. Really nice guy. I heard he had cool hair. <laughs> <laughs> Not as cool as yours. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is just straight nappy. <laughs> so, uh, so, guys, what, 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 do, what do you think about this? Swing, just, are, are they going to get tired of seeing you guys? They're going to show up and be like, you guys are here again? <laughs> That's the plan. We beat them down so much, King Shifter. It's like, oh yeah, That's just who they are. Because they have to be here now. That's right. Yeah. How do I get one of those laminates? <laughs> Steal that. <one>. This. <laughs> uh huh. Sleep later. Just yeah. Out Won't take me long. You can have them. I start snoring. You'll know right away. <laughs> so. These were just uh, kind of a special made deal. It was like four of them. So yeah. there's five. There's five. Oh, excuse me. Five. There's five. Five of us. And so, you're the king. That's right. Didn't you know this? I mean, normally <laughs> normally we could give two shits about these particular laminate deals. You know, there's people that wear that shit without even being at the show. They walk with that uh, shit to the grocery store. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I can't we'll talk that, about man. them here. But, uh, but, <laughs> but <laughs> oh. I figure, you know, if we're going to be in places where there's a lot of people, we need to be able to find each other. <laughs> it's for location purposes. It's for location. <laughs> Forget about it's. It's like it's like cheap GPS. That's right. We're the first people <laughs> to use these things, not for fashion. <laughs> but don't they look cool? Show them. Show them. Show them. I already showed them. Show them again. That's 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 what King Shifter quality got, looks like. What you got to get a picture of is the lanyard here. It says, "Hello, my name is Awesome," because <laughs> that is me. <laughs> the guy with the blue on. That's right, man. <laughs> where's Jason? <laughs> now I notice these two don't have laminates. They leave those in. Oh, I don't have a laminate. I got I'm this button though. It's like an all for one and every man for himself yes. sort of thing. See, I have to wear it because I'm too stupid. And then that's my picture and everybody else's picture on the backside, so I know who to look for. Rotation <laughs> devices. I, I figured the other two left them in the limo. Since you guys. <laughs> oh, well, we didn't. We, we traveled a little, little bit more of style today. <laughs> Not a limousine by no means, because I, I, I love limousines, but we just didn't come in one. That's just it. We just didn't come in one. No, so, we we have a nice RV to use. Spending all that, spending all that glow money. <laughs> <laughs> I have to use. That you know what? I think I, I think my you should interview my wife one day. <laughs> oh, that I, be, yeah, it would that it would be fabulous. It would it would make my world. To see her have to relive that talking to you, because <laughs> she really, for some reason, wants to put her pro wrestling past behind her. I just don't understand why. There's bobbleheads, action figures. <laughs> really, you guys can do all sorts of things. Well, what, what products do you suggest? What do you think the people want to see from King Shifter? I like the diaphragm idea. <laughs> and if you clean it, you guys, out you right, guys like the diaphragm idea? Condoms. <laughs> Yeah, be like Kiss, just cover everything. You know, there you go. King, King, King Shifter condoms. I mean, you, they, you know, be a party without the balloons. They, they, they have, <laughs> they have, and I, you might kick my ass for this suggestion, but they have like Rey, Rey Mysterio from WWE has the masks. Why couldn't you just have like beards? You can just sell beards. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be cool to see nine and ten year old King fans at a King Shifter show. <laughs> <laughs> It's beers on here. <laughs> <laughs> a friend of mine actually does. 
used to with molds. And we could make masks. Right. <laughs> That'd be great. I mean, a pain in the ass to go through, you know, and put some... Uh, we could be a different member of Kingston every night on stage. Was like, <laughs> that Sprout playing drums? But but then people might question if your beards are real, then. Sure. Uh, if There's real as Santa Clauses. <laughs> I don't have much facial hair. They're lucky, man. I, I just started shaving a few years ago. <laughs> it's it's kind of like ZZ Top. All of you have beards. Face up there, got any beard. Yeah, I got a good <laughs> I like my baby face. Okay. Well, need to get off of Esther Curry. What? How, how, how did you guys end up on the couch and he's in the chair? Who, who, who well, elected to do that? You think I would be, since I am the king. The king. See, he pushed me out, and I don't know. That's a good question. He's a loner. He's mad at us. Well. Oh, it's <laughs> <laughs> like at home. He's it. It's like at home. Oh, shit. <laughs> Somebody's always pissed. So, uh, so, where do you guys go next after this Texas hippie thing? Well, we're gonna. <clears throat> we just finished. CD, I believe. We just finished out. recording a record, and uh, it's being pressed right now. So, in about a couple of weeks, uh, we should be getting it, and we're planning uh, to go back to the Kansas City area late j- in January. That's cool. We're going to have a CD release party at some point, sometime in February. <laughs> and <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna write some more songs because we need them. And uh, oh, do you guys all contribute to the writing process? Yeah. Or yeah. No. Come up with a riff. And then <laughs> Is it song? just somebody comes up with a riff and then? We got the formula of rock and roll. The only wet ingredients is. Budweiser. <laughs> kind of like just jamming A or whatever. Uh, all right. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we, we work pretty well together when we write. Yeah, we don't um, even know what happens in there. Yeah. <laughs> but it does happen. Okay, yeah. And we've, we've only been a band for five months, and um, we're, we're starting to see our writing evolve a whole lot. Because we're we're getting comfortable with each other as musicians, um, as a whole, writing stuff that's different. Yeah. We took the more straightforward, trim the fat, rock and roll approach. It's hard ass rock and roll. Really? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> sir, we're walking behind me. But uh, so, uh, is there ever going to come a day where you have King Shifter T-shirts with Bruce on them? <laughs> <laughs> we should. <laughs> Since he's gonna, he's you know kind of been synonymous with all I your can musical make Uncle projects Bruce a business. of the past. I can make Uncle Bruce a brand. <laughs> Y'all know, that, that's what we can do. He could be your mask. You could have like a. No, we can't have him as a mascot. <laughs> Would you? Well, yeah, you do have him as a mascot. <laughs> I love Uncle Bruce, but no. <laughs> Oh man, he's everything I wish I could be at 50 and more. <laughs> Bruce is too deep in that hip hop game, right? Yeah, is he listening to that hip hop? Bruce is in that hip hop game, brother. Hey, hey, Bruce, turn that Jungle Bunny music down, okay? We don't want to hear that. We don't. That's it. I love you, Uncle Bruce. Shit. Yeah, what, 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 what do you guys think of Bruce and his hip hop? Some of his hip hop stuff that he does. He does, he does like his rhymes. Does he like the good stuff? What does he like to listen to? I don't really know what he likes to listen to. All I know is that every once in a while he'll be talking and it'll just flow. It'll be like, flow like a butterfly, sting like a bee. You don't want to see me because I'm Muhammad Ali. You know? <laughs> and he does this weird kind of, we best describe it as some sort of Hawaiian dance. It could, yeah. Uh, what the it, fuck uh, is he talking about? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, since, since since we're getting ready to do this whole New Year's thing, mm-hmm. I want you get. Do you guys have New Year's resolutions? No. no. Uh, Not gonna miss any notes, or. <laughs> <laughs> that's like that's <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Resolution not to fall down on the stage from being too drunk. There, you, there. That's that's a reasonable one. Yeah. yeah. Resolution, it's huh? It's happened. <laughs> I'm going to try and drink a little more whiskey this year. 
I've been broke this past year, and it'd be nice if I could make a little more money to afford my whiskey habit. It's honorable. Nope. Nope. You could call the drunkenness uh, unintended stage diving. That's uh, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm a very private drinker. You know, I like to sit at home and drink out the bottle. You know, <laughs> you can't do that at the bar, right? <laughs> And they tend to frown on that. Yeah, yeah, they do. They don't like that shit. <laughs> so what about you guys? You guys like anything? Or not? Yeah. Every time I do that, I never do it. So I just, if I decide to do something, I do it right then. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to quit X, I do it right then. <laughs> if I was, if I was to, to name a New Year's resolution, it would probably be this year, finally, to tell my wife that I'm just going to give up quitting smoking. So I'm tired of promising her that I'm going to quit wow. in the future. Yeah. So, oh. 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 Yeah. Yeah. You know, I just started being honest. <laughs> you could give up being a sorry as Raiders fan. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, they, 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 had, they had a shot this season. I was really open. I just give him hell. He's a diehard <laughs> Raiders fan. That's, I respect it. I remember the glory days of Bo Jackson, Howie Long, all that. There you go. Lyle Alzado. He's That's my right. favorite steroid freak. Forget everybody else, dude. Lyle Alzado was an animal. He was, dude. He was gangster. Rrr, he really growled at you when he tackled you. People were afraid of him. Yeah, that was one cold ass white boy. Wow, I'll say you. <laughs> that, 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 that'll be a tag on this YouTube video. Wow, I'll say you. will be like, it's King Ship. <laughs> but yes, our EP, Woes of the Abysmal. There you go. It's a. Uh, it, it's a. It's, the content she is dark. Wow. That was uh -huh. amazing. You, you, you said, uh, what was the abysmal? And she goes, wow. Yeah. See? Yeah. Now paying attention to the, the desk. What was the abysmal? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not a record about uh, uh, monsters and all that other good crap you'd hear in death metal, but it's just a record with the content of the crap that we deal with every day as humans. And I'm sorry I inserted that cheesy humanity line. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But how, how about time, Earth Lanes? Yeah, we could say you could say Earth Lanes. Put it this way: we wouldn't be Americans or Canadians anymore if the aliens invaded. I hope we would be Earthlings. <laughs> We're gonna die as them, that's for sure. <laughs> you guys got any final comments before we let you guys go? And I hope you guys go party. The We've uh, enjoyed doing it. Oh, yeah. Really cool it's a lot different from anything else. Guys. Yeah, we're all really happy with it. And, uh, you know, we went in here and knocked it out. Yeah, yeah Miles. Rock is what it is, real heavy ass rock. And the CD will be available uh, mid January. So we hope everybody will grab a copy. Yeah. Go check it out online. You can just on Facebook us, whatever. Yeah. yeah, look us up on Reverb Nation. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Travel there. Yeah, Reverb Nation's a good site to go to. Yeah, I mean, going on MySpace, you had to read about somebody's personal bullshit before you went to the band page. I hated that about it. But Reverb Nation, it's a really good <coughs> site to find bands and be friends with them and communicate. It's good. That's cool. Well, thanks, gentlemen. Thanks for doing this. Thank you. What's the abysmal bitch? <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know what to say after that. <laughs> I thank King Shifter, and uh, I, I thank them for putting up with all my nonsense all these years and the various <laughs> musical projects they've all been involved with that have been on this program. Uh, I'm Jiggy Chang, and thanks for watching Jiggy Chang TV. <laughs>